Hello, artists. How are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. We are very happy that you are here with us today. In today's edition of Creating Your First Altered Book, we are going to do the final walkthrough on this gorgeous project. We are. We are. So, you know, we really went through a lot of um, learning on this book. If you check out the playlist here on the channel called Creating Your First Altered Book, um, you will see, you know, number one, Creating Your First Altered Book, number one, talks about choosing the book, choosing the signatures, how to glue the pages, how to remove the pages, all that good stuff. Number two talks about ephemera and glues. Number three talks about um, gesso and how to protect your pages. And then we talk about paint and we talk about fabric, we talk about transparencies, and we talk about um, basic construction and then how to make basic things more interesting. So, um, you know, that's kind of the goal of the channel is to really show you guys how to mm, take something that you see every day and make it more unique. All right. Okay. So here is the front and back cover. I really do love the way that the um, liquid pearls really gave this some great texture. And then the um, crackle paste was phenomenal making our own stencil turned out really cool and then using this great design here with the alcohol inks to really bring it out and then um, touch of stays on over the top of those just really gave it a cool antique feeling uh, the base texture piece that i put underneath of here really gave it a great uh bottom texture you really it's not super noticeable but look at all of that great detail that was created by it gave us some extra ridges and bumps and so i think that was really a great addition to the book all right this is always a little bit hard to show let me make sure that you guys are in camera here there we go um this was our first one this was our cityscape uh with the lumiere paints up there again a lot of scrapbook paper we did with this and then, of course, our going from the city to the country. You know, that one just turned out really cool. It's a super simple uh, transition cityscape. I'm looking here to see what we've got going on. Uh, that cheesecloth didn't really hold very well through here. Um, that's not good. That is not good. Uh, although on this side it is just fine because of the scrapbook paper so the book's not going to come apart um, but I will definitely want to go in there with some more paint I didn't notice that until just this very minute okay and I love how our country going to the country turned out I've seen some really cool variations of this that you guys have worked on done an amazing job with it this was our first um, hand-painted page, and I love this. It is just so happy and um, pretty simple, really. When you take it down to its base parts, it's pretty simple. And I also love how the background turned out on this, too. Super cool. This was our um, napkin transfer. And then here I used the Ranger Liquid Pearls through here, an Alphonse Mucha uh, image, as well as one of the Tim Holtz relatives, um, one of his postcards. I think those are very, very cool. Love how it all worked together, bringing the design um, through, you know, making the two pages relate to each other, even though they're not... Um, hitting you over the head with their relationship, you can definitely feel how these two women relate to each other. I think they do. All right, and here is our ocean scene. Now remember guys, I chose um, images and work that really speaks to me. 
live for the moments that you cannot put into words. Um, so this was also using the copper foil on the back of fabric. That was a great, great uh, project. The uh, idea from that came from, from Miss Cat Austin, the copper foil backing on the flowers to really give them that extra sparkle. I think it worked out super cool. Um, I really loved making this in the fabric. I it just, oh, I loved it. You gotta love a good ocean scene, right? And we really worked with our color theory on that page also. All right, this is our traveling page. And we're going north. Possibility begins with imagination. And then this one says, she dreams of faraway places and daring adventures. Here was my map to Alaska. Oh, that one's stuck in there, good. This is our floating pocket page. And uh, you know, who says that a pocket has to be stuck to the page itself? It can be floating out there and be an excellent design element. Um, I did a lot of work with putting in the eyelets. This is of course a little piece of um, uh, cedar wood there. Making things that feel important to us. And that's what's going to make your artwork better. As if you have something that you can really relate to. And here I have my other simple pocket page in the book uh, with the gesso transfers. And then we have our tags here. Oh. The technique uh, with the alcohol ink and the um, uh, archival inks really does work out to be a very lovely process. And I loved that gesso transfer. Very cool. All right. This one was one of our first, like, more technical builds. I'm going to try to open this up a little bit more. It's probably not very good for the book. So here we have the Jack of Spades and the Jack of Hearts. And he relates to both the king and the queen. Let's see. This was a ton of layering with our crackle paste underneath. This is some copper tape, some painted copper tape, some painted elements, some lettering, just kind of trying to give us the feel of, um, this does spin really well when it's, there we go. <laughs> it does spin. Um, trying to give our, ourselves the feeling of a playing card, um, kind of on steroids. That's, I really do love how these pages relate to each other. The king on the gold background, the queen on the complimentary uh, purple background. So, very cool. This was our dual wave door. And this project we did over on Patreon. This was with copper and aluminum tape embossing. And then um, a hand painted crow, Raven. And we did color in all of these great, uh, this was actually Tim Holt's um, paper. We were working with a lot of transfers on this, as you can see the base layers underneath of there. And then um, really trying to make these doors as special as we possibly could. Um, combining the two types of tape, I think was a great process. I think it really um, was a successful uh, page. I love how that turned out. She's just kind of hanging out, sneaking out in there. Now, you guys know that I do not like to use copyrighted images, so I use um, older photographs. I don't really like to use magazine images because there's most likely a copyright on them, and you're using somebody else's art. Well, that's not necessarily cool in my book. All right, you know, you do whatever you want to do in your book. This is alcohol ink on aluminum foil. Isn't that a cool process? And then these are our little tiles from our 30 times three project. So I made four doors. 
And I was definitely influenced by the new um, Tim Holtz Halloween um, ephemera. That's what these guys are here. These are the uh, Tim Holtz Halloween mm, relatives. Are those the relatives? I don't know. Paper dolls, maybe. And then this was kind of the ephemera page there. Taking some of our doodles in the background and just doing some cool layers with that. Um, yeah, I dig how this page turned out. I think it is super interesting. A lot of things going on. This alcohol ink on aluminum foil is actually a very easy process to do. So I hope you do try it out. Um, and then I did go over it with the um, archival inks and I definitely toned down the brightness or the intensity of some of those colors a bit. Here we have our ancestor page. This is our crumbling wall with our pop-up. Okay. So I definitely made that pop-up be as, um, I wanted the pop-ups to read correctly. So when you open up the book, that the pop-up is facing you. So I took the inspiration and then I really um, redesigned it to where it worked properly for me. This crumbling wall was a lot of fun to do. And again, the papers were the Tim Holtz Halloween papers and um, the wallpaper was from the Halloween wallpaper also. Used some cheesecloth in the background, some distress ink sprays, lots of uh, uh, stays on ink. Yeah, I love how this turned out. And of course the um, template for these guys are over on Patreon and you can do whatever type of little pop-up guys you want to do. Once you have the basics of how the shape works down at the bottom, um, you know, to make the pop-up, you can really modify these however you want to. And then our last page of the book, we have our cool little steampunky girl uh, made out of all of the different elements. I think she turned out really fabulous. Uh, this was a, um, I didn't realize this was actually like a stencil here. Uh, this is, what is it, mm, Seven Gypsies. I think this was a Seven Gypsies. Uh, but we layered it on top of uh, stencils on the background. You can definitely still see the base layer underneath of here, which I love. You know, if you're going to take the time to do base layer, um, it's best to have it still just kind of peeking through, in my opinion. We used some shimmer sprays. We used the gold alcohol ink on top to really make it stand out and had a great time putting this little person together. This little shape. I adore it. I think the book is extremely successful and hopefully you guys enjoyed going through the um, process with me. You know, none of these layouts are overly technical. Uh, probably the spinner one is the most technical. Um, you know, choose which pages speak to you and have a great time doing it. This one was pretty technical also. So we started out very basic and then we started to move into some of the more uh, challenging projects, which is a great way to learn about how to do the altered book. So glad you guys are here with us. Uh, you know, it's, it was a wonderful process. Okay. Well, everybody, there is the, this was my third completed altered book, but actually it was my fourth one that I had worked on. So love what we came up with for sure. You guys are awesome. We will chat soon. All right. Bye-bye.